Okay, so in a previous video, I talked about Cigar Score 2.0, but I wanted to tell you a, a few of the things that we are working on because that has been a big focus of my uh, time, e energy, and effort over the last several weeks, and I'm excited to have that roll out. I don't know the exact date yet, but I wanted to give you, before we get into the review today, I wanted to give you a quick bullet point list of what we are hoping to deliver to you as in the cigar community, as cigar smokers, as lounge owners, as brand managers, and everything else. More customization, better branding, more features, better search. If you want to search by lounges that have been tagged as having free Wi-Fi, we're going to be able to deliver that to you. An owner portal for all the listing and lounge owners. So if you are one or you know one, make sure that they have claimed their listing. More details about the listings, easier to for them to run ads, publish coupons for you. You are now able to interact and message or will be able to interact and message the listing owners directly. It'll be easier to add open hours so you know which lounges are open and which ones are not or and see when they are open Open. and then there are better visibility for the premium and paid listings so they can show up on the home page show up at the top of search whether you're in the geographical area or not it's pretty exciting awesome stuff coming your way in cigar score 2.0 stay tuned let's get into the cigar review hey guys I'm Mallory Wells from cigarscore.com the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars and as I mentioned we are rolling out some really cool stuff over uh, it'll probably be a, a six to eight week rollout where you're just going to gradually see some improvements and some fairly right away and then some smaller ones as we d work on the software and everything else. But today we are smoking a cigar that I got in August 2020 from Luxury Cigar Club. Man, I love these Cigar Score Cigar Day labels. They are so handy. Uh, let's peel that off. This is Blackwork Studio, the NBK 6x46. That's all I know about it. Blackwork Studio, NBK, and this is 6x46. What is that, a Corona? Corona Gorda? Corona Langa? Something like that? I don't know what you'd call that. But let's pull off, ooh, a closed foot. I'm already enjoying that. Now, I just did, just a few weeks ago, a review of another Blackworks Studio cigar. and they, So Blackworks Studio and Black Label Trading Company, they're the same company. It's very confusing, it's terrible branding, and really the only difference is, I think, one is more boutique-y than the other boutique brand because neither one of them are huge. But this looks like it has a saber tooth tiger skull on it. So I don't know, but I, I mentioned that because that, that cigar did not taste like the signature Blackworks slash Black Label flavor of really dark roasted coffee. Like almost burnt, not like bitter burnt, but just really, really charred. So, and I kind of like that. On that cigar, I don't think I did because it wasn't there. And the other Blackworks slash Black Label stuff that I've had, that's the flavor. And I kind of hope it shows up in this. But because of this little saber tooth skull here, let me in the close foot, and we've got some nice veins. Let me give you a close up of this before we light it up. So here's the cigar. It is Hershey's Chocolate Brown. It's almost it's the same color as my leather. Uh, Zykar thing there, but it is medium brown in color Closed foot and they've got they they I don't know if they did it on purpose, but they've really hidden this stem Right here on the back side of the cigar like if this was laying in your lounge You know, it's nice and smooth and I'm not saying they were deceitful in any way But if you flip it over you got that vein that's right there so the NBK, the Sabretooth, we're gonna probably figure out what NBK stands for in the research here, but this thing actually has a slight box press to it. Interesting, it's kind of got an oily, nice oily wrapper. I'm looking forward to this. All right, I think I'm gonna use the guillotine on this. I, I have a feeling this is gonna be a great cigar. I don't know why, I just have this feeling that we are gonna have an enjoyable afternoon together. Of course, it's afternoon for me. I don't know when you're watching these. Maybe you're watching them right before you go to bed. 
so you can dream about cigars. I don't know. The draw is just absolutely perfect. It's a little bit loose. It's on the loose side of perfect. But heck, I'm not gonna complain about that, my gosh. All right, let's put this thing to torch. You know, I was thinking if you have a closed foot and you don't puff on it right away, you don't get that blast of flavor. So watch this. Pure wrapper leaf right there. That's talent. Lots of spice, whoa. That is a kick in the pants, but that's what I expect from Black Label Black Works cigars. And that thing lit perfectly. Wow, there was, there was, this, it, this is perfect up to this point. Wow, okay. Honestly, the, the flavors that I'm tasting right now are just that spice. It's not peppery, but it is, this has got to have a Corojo 99 or a Habano wrapper on it. It's got to just because the, the spice level is off the charts. And honestly, honestly, that's not necessarily a good thing because that's all I taste. I don't taste leather, I don't taste chocolate, I don't taste anything else except for spice. Whoa, that'll clear out your sinuses. Let me grab my phone, let's learn about this cigar together. Okay, Ecuadorian Habano, who called it? Yeah, okay, so Ecuadorian Habano. 6x46 Oscuro, it's $9 for a single. They do have these on Famous Smoke Cigar. I didn't think they would, honestly. This is not a huge brand. It is definitely a boutique cigar. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a boutique cigar. And what that means is they make less than a million sticks a year. Literally individual cigars. If you make less than a million, I think that is the cutoff to where you are uh, a boutique versus not a boutique cigar. So I did not expect them to be on Famous but they are, and you can get a box of 20 for 163 bucks. And then if you put the cigar score coupon code on that, you probably should, will be able to save 15% off. So save another, was that $25? So either way, this is a solid $9 cigar. As I said, it is, it's perfect so far, except the spice is absolutely overwhelming but the binder and filler look like they're nicaragua so we've got nicaragua binder filler and then this ecuadorian habano spice turned up to 11 uh, wrapper it's a great looking wrapper but still i'm struggling to taste anything but spice and maybe that's what you're looking for maybe that's what they were going for but it'd be like if you had a really nice steak and you just you dunked it in a1 sauce you can't taste the meat all you taste is the sauce, but in this case, the spice might be what they were going for, and it might be more comparable to just like eating wasabi. I don't know. This is a spice bomb. It's very bold, perfect construction, perfect draw, almost a razor sharp burn. So <laughs> interesting 90 minutes ahead of me. Stay tuned and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, we're 33 minutes into this Black Quark Studio NBK, and the construction is just absolutely perfect and the draw is so perfect i learned about this new way of rolling cigars instead of crumpling the filler tobacco kind of like an accordion then bunching it then binding it then wrapping it what they do with the filler tobacco is they they roll it like you would a straw or like you're you know gonna blow spitballs in class or whatever and i wonder if this cigar is rolled that way it is just the best draw I have probably ever had, at least in re recent memory. However, again, the the spice on this, I feel it on the, the tip of my tongue. The spice of this is overwhelming any other flavors that I might want to get out of the cigar. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I, I, I'm not quite sure on that, but the draw is great. The construction's great. I like the cigar. I don't know how long it's gonna last because the draw is so easy, so loose, so wonderful. It's probably gonna smoke fairly fast. So the jury's still out. What What's going on with the spice? Do I like it? Would I recommend it? I'm not sure because like I said, I would love to taste more of the Nicaraguan tobacco in there. I know Habano wrappers don't have to be just this potent and they can deliver some really nice flavors. So. I'm not sure where this one's gonna lie. Either way, I'll keep you updated. Okay, 52 minutes into the cigar, time to take the label off. And I wanted to point out a little flavor note that I just picked up. Sweetness, like really sweet. 
and it's a nice contrast to the spice, but still going strong. Interesting cigar. I'll be right back with my final thoughts on this Black Horse Studio NBK. Okay, we're right at an hour and 11 minutes with this Black Horse Studio NBK, and this is an interesting cigar. I'm gonna give it a cigar score of five, but we'll get to that. So the construction, absolutely perfect. We had a nice clean cut. The burn has been razor sharp up until those last little couple minutes. There's a little bit of maybe moisture in this stem, but overall, absolutely fantastic construction, specifically the draw. The draw has just been really quite excellent. I wish every cigar that I smoked had a draw like this one. Here's the butt. The flavors, I think, could be richer, more full, more uh, something other than just this overwhelming spice. But it's very clean on the palate. I don't know if this is a palate destroyer cigar. We've talked about that a couple times in the history here of Cigar Score TV. The flavor on your palate is actually there's not a lot of aftertaste to it. The spice really hits the tip of the tongue in a kind of a unique way, but there's not a lot of flavors that I could pick up other than that. There were times though where the finish of the cigar was buttery smooth. It just had a nice, not creamy flavor, but the texture that it left on my tongue was interesting. So with that said, a cigar score of five for the Black Works Studio NBK. I don't know, I would recommend you try one. It may be exactly what you're looking for. I don't know if I would fill my humidor with it just because it's it's not super complex and that spice just punches you right in the mouth. So if you take that for what it's worth, check one out. I think you'll like it, especially if you like spicier cigars. It's not peppery. You're not gonna get cracked pepper on this. It's just that spice from the Habano wrapper. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars and perhaps maybe uh, what you might want to smoke when you get there. I hope you have an amazing day and as always, happy smoking. <laughs>